there a very good morning and welcome to ITN English News with me Bhakti Abe Surya. First up in local news, President Gotabe Rajapaksha says that he will be committed to build up a country in which the future generation will be able to live in pride. The President made this comment at a meeting with the students of Ananda College, Colombo. The meeting was organized in line with the opening of the new seven-storied building at the school premises. President Rajapaksha is the first old boy of the Ananda College who became an executive president in Sri Lanka. Speaker Karujaya Surya, several parliamentarians and many old Anandians representing various sectors in the country were present at this occasion. Prime Ministers of India and Sri Lanka engaged in a special discussion on the national security in Sri Lanka and new development projects when they met in India yesterday. Special Guard of Honour was held for the visiting Sri Lankan Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi was also present at this occasion. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha made floral tribute to the Mahatma Gandhi Monument. The Prime Ministers of the two countries held bilateral discussions last evening. Indian Prime Minister warmly welcomed his Sri Lankan counterpart and focused attention on many issues relating to the both countries. Following this discussion, the two leaders participated in a media briefing as well. Prime Minister Rajapaksha said that Sri Lanka expects the support of Indian government to continue the housing development program carried out in each province in Sri Lanka. Attention was also focused on the national security of both countries. President Mahindra Rajapaksha has stated this visit started rather this visit to have further discussion on the issues taken into consideration by President Gotabe Rajapaksha at his recent official visit in India. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Rajapaksha met the Indian Foreign Minister Subramaniam Jai Shankar. Minister Jai Shankar said that India will continue their support for new projects implemented in Sri Lanka. They also focused attention on the current situation of the progress of new projects conducted under an Indian aid. A decision was also taken to expedite the completion of several projects. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha was scheduled to meet President Ramanath Kovind. The International Monetary Fund says that the economy of Sri Lanka is recovering from tragic terrorist attacks on Easter Sunday last year. The gross domestic product growth is projected to rebound to 3.7% in 2020 on the back of recovery in tourism and assuming that the novel coronavirus will have only limited negative effects on the terror tourist arrivals and other economic activities. The IMF stated this in a statement released following the end of its staff visit to Sri Lanka. A staff team from the IMF led by Manuela Goretti visited Colombo during the 29th of January to the 7th of this month to meet with the new administration and discuss its policy agenda. The IMF staff team had constructive discussions with the Sri Lankan authorities on recent economic developments and the country's economic reform agenda. Given the high level of public debt and refinancing needs in the country, ensuring macroeconomic stability calls for fiscal consolidation, prudent monetary policy and system sustained efforts to build international reserves. Ambitious structural and institutional reforms remain critical to raise the country's growth potential and promote inclusiveness. The recovery is supported by a solid performance of the manufacturing sector and a rebound in tourism and related services in the second half of the year. High frequency indicators continue to improve and growth is projected to rebound to 3.7% in 2020 on the back of the recovery in tourism and assuming the novel coronavirus will have only limited negative effect on tourism arrivals and other economic activities. Inflation is projected to remain at around 4.5% in line with the Central Bank of Sri Lanka target. After a sharp import contraction in 2019, the current account deficit is expected to widen to nearly 3% of GDP in 2020. The Sri Lanka Vocational Training Authority and the U.S. Agency for International Development have launched a program to provide employment opportunities to the youth in Sri Lanka. It is via the Career Guidance Bus Service. 
The bus will commence its journey from Dondra to Point Pedro to provide vocational training opportunities to unemployed youth. The bus started its journey yesterday at the Dondra Lighthouse. The bus is scheduled to cover 30 cities over a period of 12 days. It's so um, great and exciting to be here today in, in um, southern uh, Sri Lankan, right here on the beach, um, with all the, the young people. Everywhere I go in Sri Lanka, I meet very smart young men, very smart young women. USAID realizes as a development partner that for Sri Lanka to move from upper middle income status to advanced economy status, it's really going to be mobilizing all the smart minds of the young men and women of your country. So we are very happy to support that once again with the Vocational Training Authority. With that, we wrap up our today's edition of ITN English News. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now and have a pleasant day.